What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Tanya in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks to be aware of, some best strategies to put in place, and of course, some fun and easy combos that you can do today. Take it one step at a time. Make sure to subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we're going to be using so that everybody who's watching knows what we're talking about. First of all, let me state that Tanya is an amazing character. Man, she's got everything you need, dude. She's got good mix-ups, a projectile, good anti-airs, good air combos. She's got a parry. She's got so much going on for her, man. I promise you, you're going to love her. Let's go ahead and start off with the bread and butters we got going on for Tanya, and that is her mix-ups. Starting off with her overhead, she's got a good back two, three combo. So that's an overhead and as you saw it's a small pop-up for ground combos kind of like this and the best part about that back two starter not only is that combo an overhead but the first move you're back to that's an amazing anti-air so if they try jumping in anti-air them and then not only that but you see that go ahead and just finish the combo because you'll get the full thing off so not only is it a great anti-air, but it's an anti-air that leads into a combo, and that's not very common. We also have our 4 2 one, one, two combo. Great multiple hits that ends in an overhead. It's not necessarily an overhead starter combo, but it's a great way to get an overhead in there. And then for Tanya's lows, we have back 3-4-4. Four, four. And two notes about that, it's got pretty good range. You can start at like, you know, almost half screen. And the last hit there clips your opponent with the low. And of course the back three, the low there, that can cancel into special moves for combos. So it's a great way to start your combos if you want to. Then we have our three grab combo. If we do this, we do the grab part, that low will actually hit our opponent. Not a combo starter, but a great way to get a low in there. Honestly with Tana, your best way to start combos is your forward four. Great normal, and as you see there, an air pop-up. Back two, three for an overhead. Our back three for the low starter. And then I find that I use four, two, one, one quite a bit, because that's a great multiple hitting combo starter that can just go into a lot of stuff. And again, with our forward four, we have an air pop-up for air combos. And speaking of air combos, as you see for Tanya, we have three main combo routes in the air. We have our one, two, four, our one, three, three, and our two, one. And I'll show you why and when you might use these. So we'll go ahead and do our forward four to pop them up and then do the air combo. So we'll go ahead and pop them up, do one, two, four. As you see, that's a great one because it bounces our opponent up to continue the ground combo. And that works even better in the corner. Then we have our one, three, three as well in the air. Kind of a combo to push your opponent away from you. And the reason why you might want them away from you because you have other special moves that we'll go over later. Mainly her down forward three. Next, we have our two one combo in the air. Two one. And that's great because you can actually extend that into other combos because Tawny has awesome air specials, including her down forward one for projectile and her down back four in the air. So what's cool is you can go in the air, do two one, then down back four. Or you can do one, two, down forward one, enhance projectile. You see that right there, our opponent, as they're kind of like stunned and going down to the ground, we have time to continue the ground combo from our air projectile in the air that was enhanced. You are kind of far away at that point, so I recommend your three, because that's got really good range. From there, you might do your back forward four. Tony has a couple great wake up options. First and foremost is are actually your down back four. You want to enhance that because that way you gain the armor on it. And here's how that looks. Another great option that I use for a wake up attack for Tanya is down back three. As you see there, we have a parry. Here's how it looks in action. And the cool part is you can hold the three just to keep holding it there. Just wait for them to hit you. Now there's a couple more properties to the parry, but we'll go over that in just a minute. The main thing you want to know about the parry is that parry's high in mids. So it's a great way to throw it out there, just hold it there and just beg for a hit. So the one gimmick that Tanya kind of has is our down forward three seeking guidance move. You see here, if we do it, we have a very small ring behind us. We do it again, we got a bigger ring. Now, once you have both those rings, you have a couple properties to work with. Before we get into the properties, just so you know, you can actually hold the three and get both of them instantly. That's why when you have a combo that ends you full screen, you might want to go throw that out there get both those rings and the reason why is when you have both rings you actually have more range on your dash cancel attacks meaning when we dash and then forward to four for an example yeah. we don't have that great of range that's enhanced when we have both those rings yeah. so basically it allows you to close the distance a lot easier and a lot faster and how awesome is that not only that, but then you gain an extra special move when you have both those rings, which is actually another down forward three attack. 
as you see there it's kind of a dodge this seeking guidance extra special move enhanced dodge is one frame on startup so it's super fast basically a great way to get you out of any situation if you need to not only that when you're fully powered up like this and you enhance that dodge it's a hit by itself and puts you in the air for air combos like so so that's something you want to keep in mind when playing Tanya is using her seeking guidance as much as you possibly can. Get those two rings out there, dash forward into an attack. Now you have the range to do so. You have an extra special move. Keep in mind that once you use that special move though, your rings are now gone. You have to do seeking guidance again to get them back. Tanya's got good mobility, good range, and a little bit of defense options with her parry and her enhanced fireballs that actually eat other projectiles as they go through them. She's just got a little bit of everything. Yeah, like I said, her down forward on projectile, Great projectile, but again, enhanced, eats other opponent's projectiles. So if they try to zone you out, you're like, psych, mine's gonna win. Another side note is her down back for splitting kick spins is full screen, even in the air. So that is a great way to close the distance between you and your opponent. If they're trying to zone you out, beat their projectiles first, then get in there. If you're afraid to get hit, just enhance it so that way you get armor on it and just get in your opponent's face. You can also extend that into combos, of course. Now for some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Guys, let me know what you think of Tony in the comments down below. Do you like her? Do you hate her? Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. And take it one step at a time.